Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 10th, 2020. Wow, it's hard to believe we're almost in the middle of June, and we have a market that is just all bulls all the time. Yesterday, we had an interesting uh, situation with the Dow finally breaking a uh, seven day streak, and the NASDAQ pushing on higher with, led by big tech and pretty much big tech alone. So what does that mean for today's setup? Well, let's take a look, grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs and get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we have kind of a wait and see set up here. Um, for today futures are relatively flat now they seesawed back and forth between positive and negative overnight as a matter of fact when i kind of got up at uh, 5 a.m this morning futures were looking bearish but now they have pushed back higher and they're kind of seesawing around probably going to be a relatively flat open this morning and one of the reasons is we have a big day of economic data and we're kind of waiting on that FOMC announcement so what do we got going here technically in the charts well yesterday let's um, let me remove all of these drawings and you can see yesterday we ended up um, with the market just kind of in the Dow just kind of floating around not really doing much of anything in fact the majority of the day we really didn't do anything we just kind of chopped back and forth and except for the um, um, the big tech um, that has a very heavy weight in the Dow nowadays, um, we really didn't do anything. Uh, big tech really led the way yesterday. Um, so Microsoft um, was a uh, and Apple were the big players here in the Dow yesterday, moving up while really everything else did very little the whole day. So right now we have a bullish trend here in the chart. We have that opportunity that we can, um, if we can be inspired by the FOMC to continue on higher. We also have that opportunity that if the FOMC disappoints investors i don't know why they would i mean they're they've opened up their checkbook for unlimited spending but if they happen to invest uh, disappoint investors um, we could see um, a slip here now one thing that could be really really important and i'm going to go to the dow to demonstrate this if we were to slip if we were to slip and fall into this big gap that's about a thousand point move from where we are right now in the Dow. That could be pretty substantial if that were to occur. So watch that closely. And just keep in mind that we have some big open gaps below and that possibility of slipping into those could create some painful price action moves um, in the market. So we are testing price resistance levels here in the chart. We're trying to hold some levels here as support and testing these upper reaches here in the diamonds let's take a look at the spy 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 reaching 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 trying to break through some resistance levels here in the chart we have a beautiful upside trend although we weren't quite able to hold up toward the end of the day saw a little bit of selling right there coming in one of the things here also interesting is that if we happen to get disappointed by the FOMC and slip into this gap, it could be kind of a ugly pullback. But we could see a big, a big potential pullback and still not break the uptrend because we are quite extended in this move to the upside. So bulls are in control. They remain in control. They are just ravenously buying up big tech. Um, and honestly, that was about the only thing that moved in the SPY yesterday was those big tech players. So um, kind of keep an eye on this. Q's, QQQ reached out and I suspect this was the push that needed to occur. Um, the NASDAQ reached up and grabbed uh, the 10,000 level um, in, um, in the index. 
And that was really um, a major concerted effort. And by, uh, I believe, institutions, they they wanted to pull out the 10,000 hats that they've already had printed up. And as you can see, we pushed up through those highs. So we're at all-time new highs here in the market. Um, It's going to be really interesting to see whether or not earnings um, after this pandemic or during this pandemic that is continuing can really support these prices. But right now, bulls are pushing really hard. The bulls are in control. Trend is certainly up, and there is nothing in the price action here as of yet, warning of any kind of a pullback. But let's watch that close. In light of FOMC, anything is possible. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also Uh, Moving up in a trend, we've got an interesting pattern here. Um, This is a pattern that could be called an abandoned baby, where we have a um, a big bullish candle. We gapped up to that candle and a gap down away from that candle, leaving uh, that abandoned pattern up there um, as a possibility. Now, if we get some more selling in here and drop into that gap, we could see a little bit of pressure little profit taking pressure on the market but let's also keep in mind on the bullish side of things we are looking strong here we're testing resistance levels trying to poke on through trends are still very very bullish in um, IWM and there's no reason to to believe here anything other right now because the bulls are very very tenacious and the bears have had their teeth stolen by um, all the central bank purchasing and uh, stimulus that continues to flow to the market let's take a look at t um, oh, excuse me the vix let's take a look at that vix now the vix interest is interestingly enough rose yesterday um, as a little bit of fear might be coming in because of the um, extremely extended condition of the market so we still are in a downtrend here on the vix but we are picking back up here just a little bit and we've crossed back up above that little bit of price Um, resistance right there that we created in the chart so we're pushing up toward that trend now I can't tell you whether we're gonna push on through Um, remember probably won't be any major damage at all from the VIX unless we actually prove to hold that downtrend to support and then start pushing off of that so kind of keep that in mind and we're holding right in here across a level of price support if i put some um, lines in here you can see we have some price support in the vix right along here and we're holding that at the moment so raising just a little bit of a red flag a little bit of concern here in the market we also have seen in the last couple of days we've seen uh, gold and silver rally a bit we've seen uh, um, areas like um, um, utilities which would be kind of a a defensive type play holding up and some of those defensive stocks rather holding up so might be a little tiny bit of concern here a little shift that could be occurring we want to watch that close now t2122 is still one of my bigger concerns but i got to tell you um this uh, this indicator that has been so reliable forever and ever and ever has just been kind of taken out of the equation and really taken out of the equation because we're in unprecedented waters here um we've never seen a rally of this strength in history and um you know all the optimism about uh, the country reopening and even though we're starting to see covid cases spiking up in different areas around the country market just doesn't want to pay attention to it doesn't want to see anything negative and right now the bulls are pushing 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 hard in the market so we continue to remain pegged up here in that bearish reversal zone and i suspect if profit taking comes in we could see a swift and rather painful pullback because of this extended condition but because this is a uh, an unknown this is an unprecedented move by the market 
who knows what actually occurs here. So just keep in mind that profit taking or a sell off could occur at any time. We want to be aware of it. We want to be thinking about it. We want to have a plan for it in case it starts to, be, to happen. But I wouldn't necessarily fear it right now because there's nothing in the price action of the charts that suggests it's ready to just kick off and move to the downside. We do have to remember, though, that this market moves pretty swiftly. So if it begins, it could move quite quickly and you want to be prepared. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And this is what's really moving us around and what could be an interesting day. Now, we've already received um, the news on mortgage applications and they soared today up 13% as everybody rushes into refinance with these low rates. We have, uh, before the market opens here, we have the CPI report. CPI is expected to come in around zero, um, which is better than the prior. The prior was a negative number. So if we come in around zero, the market might rally on that. Um, we have the petroleum status numbers. The petroleum status numbers are showing declines um, in our oil supplies. And that's simply because the historic production cuts um, by OPEC that they've um, said that they will extend through the summer. So that could um, have some market effect. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And then, of course, the big the big daddy of the day is going to be the FOMC announcement. Um, expectations are they aren't going to change the rates, but will they come out and talk about more operations where they're going to be, you know, who knows? Um, ECB came out with another 1.3 trillion in operations. Maybe FOMC may do the same. I don't know, and no one knows what they're planning on doing, and that's where we can get that big volatility in the market. So one of the things we'll want to pay attention to is this morning, it's very typical typical that the market price action is very, very slow, low volume, choppy as we kind of wait for uh, Jerome Powell and whatever he utters uh, during the press conference at 2.30. So keep an eye on that. Remember, we also have the Treasury budget. Unlikely that moves around very much. We all know Treasury budget is just exploding with all of the um, stimulus and um, um, operations of the FOMC. So, and no one seems to care about debt anymore. So, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Oh, by the way, I, I forgot to mention um, earnings. We do have a few earnings reports to kind of keep an eye on today. Um, not too many real notables, about 36 companies reporting. Let's take a look here. I'm going to um, go to um, CHS. CHS, we've got a little apparel, apparel store um, going to be reporting today. Um, keep an eye on that. I don't know that these, I doubt these will be real market moving, but we do have some good patterns here where we've broken through resistance levels in the chart. We've been showing this very, very strong trend. Um, so let's watch this in here to see if that can move on higher. DAKT um, also reporting today uh, computer systems here. Um, nice pattern where we've moved up in this bullish move heading in toward earnings. We're testing some resistance levels. And right now it's indicating a little bit higher this morning on that chart. Uh, GES, GES, guess is also moving up um, and has been in in anticipation of these earnings and store reopenings. Um, as you can see, um, moving up, breaking through resistance, holding in a trend. Unfortunately, it looks like it is gapping down, maybe disappointed the market a little bit this morning on its report. So uh, keep an eye on a few of those that are happening today. Not too much. Um, um, Red Robin restaurants are also reporting today. Um, could be kind of an interesting report since a lot of these, they've been closed and social distancing things may make it challenging. And it looks like they're moving just slightly lower this morning, but they are holding a trend, so it might be worth keeping an eye on. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up this morning. Stocks that you may want to keep on a list or be thinking about. 
And we had some good success yesterday with some of the things that we um, we talked about in the morning video, and I'm going to talk about them again this morning. But if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Remember, everyone, I don't try to do any prediction of which way the market's going to go. I want to look at the technicals and the price action to determine how I want to approach the market for the day. And if you find that to be helpful, um, to be useful to you, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I get a lot of views, but I don't get a whole lot of uh, folks willing to click that button and leave a comment. So if you find these useful, please please help out the channel and help us continue to grow by responding um, to these videos. Thank you very much, everyone. You guys are awesome, and I truly appreciate everyone who does take the time. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And I got to tell you, there are some really good looking charts out there. You guys know yesterday I mentioned SQ and SQ started to move up yesterday and didn't quite pop through my alert. So it's continuing to set up in this pattern. If we can get some bullish move, remember breaking through this resistance right in here and holding it as support is a good potential clue. If we can get that bull uh, to push a little harder here, pop on through, we may extend that next leg on higher. Keep an eye on that. And I don't anticipate these moves. I don't buy these charts until I actually see those bulls stepping through and pushing this up. So that's one of the reasons I set alerts. And I set that alert and I wait for the trade to come to me. I don't chase trades and I don't anticipate trades anymore. I let them come to me. Um, OSTK is another very nice looking chart. And um, I know some folks have already purchased this. Um, you can see we're holding a nice level of price support in here, nice and tight consolidation, moving ourselves over toward trend. Let's watch and see if that can pop on through and move on higher. Keep an eye on that. I've been watching utilities here. Now, utilities tried to pop through um, my alert, um, popped up there last, um, well, let's see, I guess that was Monday, popped up through there and pulled back a little bit yesterday, but we're still holding in this pattern. And one of the things we want to kind of keep an eye on. If the market is starting to get a little bit extended, we may be seeing a bit of a shift toward um, more defensive type trades and utilities might be a place where folks would look. And so watch right in here, if that can pop on through to the upside, might be a clue um, that we're reaching a bit of an extended condition here in the market. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA um, popped through my alert yesterday very, very strong in all that anticipation of um, uh, well, I shouldn't say anticipation, but the big tech rally yesterday, um, NVIDIA pushing on through. Let's watch that close, see if we can follow on through. It looks like this morning it's going to uh, gap a little bit higher this morning, testing these all-time highs. Let's see if NVIDIA can actually push on through and keep cranking out some new highs here in the chart. Good looking chart to be paying attention to. Qualcomm is one that has extended its move a little bit high here. I would suggest that Qualcomm might catch a little bit of uh, rest in here soon. And you can see we pushed up into these price resistance levels. This is a very, very steep rally coming out of this nice little consolidating move right in here. But we'll wanna watch this closely for that possibility that we could rest in here before we push on higher. How about Facebook? Facebook popped the alert yesterday, continued on up. Facebook is one of those big tech giants kind of moving things around. We do have a tiny bit of worry here in the chart that we do have a price resistance with that big old dark candle right here. But right now Facebook is looking strong. So watch this for a possible follow through. And it looks like it is going to gap up this morning. So trying to move on higher. Keep an eye on Facebook. Looking pretty darn good. United Healthcare continues to set up here and looking pretty good. We have this nice little tight consolidation and may 
maybe with the coronavirus um, cases starting to spike back up in places around the country, California just reporting a new spike um, in cases, we might want to watch this carefully and see if that can pop on through and uh, move on higher, extending that leg to the upside. Watch that one closely. Um, also been keeping an eye on old Shake Shack here. Shake Shack popped through some resistance. You can see pop my alert right in here, moved on up. We were challenging this resistance level across the chart here, big resistance level. So we pushed up through and now we're pulling back, trying to hold that area as support. Let's watch and see if that can hang on to this trend. So it may need a little bit of rest in here, but if it can hang on that support, hang on to this trend, there is that opportunity for Shake Shack to move on higher. So some good charts out there to pay attention to. Lots of potential trades. I mean, there are potential trades all over the place, but there's also that little bit concern of concern that we're kind of extended in the market. So we've got to be cautious and careful. We've got to be picky about the trades we choose. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great progress. Profits. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Be safe, everyone. We'll talk to you all soon.